Hey everybody, Will here. Welcome to This Wired Wednesday. Today I would like to share with you this great website I found called sketch.metademolab.com. What it does is it takes drawings that any child makes on a white sheet of paper. It will scan it, you can crop it, and you can see here if you were to explore this on your own. Um, it basically scans it and creates these uh, animation points on it so you can animate any drawing a child makes. So as a fair warning on this website, it is becoming more and more popular with educators and sometimes it means the website is down. So you have to wait a little bit, try reloading, um, but that does happen. So in this case, I'm gonna grab their sample drawing. So you can see it wants you to kinda size up the object, prop out any other areas there, click next. This is where you would then use your masking feed. So I can use this tool here to clean up the images that it scans. Let's click next. It's going to find the character joints. Uh, if you hover over each one, it will tell you what it is. Let's click next. And here you can see what it's doing is it's creating an animation based off of that. So maybe I want to create a fun animated dancing person here using a drawing. Well, here we go. Now the way you're going to save this, go ahead and click on that expand and then right click on the video to save video as. Once you do that, you can save it. And in this case, it went into my downloads folder. All right, so you can see we are here at the messy desk. All I'm gonna do is a very poorly drawn stick figure. So there is a head, a body, and just I'm going to kind of bold out these lines a little bit more so you can see what it looks like and how it captures everything. All right, once I do that, all I need to do is take a photo with my uh, phone here and we'll upload this into that meta demo lab. We'll upload the photo that I just took. And here you can see it has uploaded the photo. It's going to scan it. You have to agree for its research. And then it's created its crop where it's going to look. I'll take it again. And you can see it did a fairly good job there of selecting all of my lines. Now, in the event it didn't, again, I could go through and clean those up. So maybe let's get rid of that piece. Sometimes it tries to autofill where it thinks it, you want it to go. Um, instead, let's just fix that. Now we'll click next. It's figured out the eyes. I'll adjust the two eye points there. Head center. Those are all looking good. And let's click next. And now you can see I have my stick figure who is running around or I can have him dance. Um, or we can just maybe do this like slow sway walk. Again, we would just save that like that say video as. Now again, some great use cases for this is having kids develop stories online, create their own narrations for it. And my audio and video cut out on the recording, but that's okay. I really like this tool. I think it has some great use cases for the classroom because when you have students start making their own stories, connecting them with how different tools like this can bring their creations to life, it makes it that much more personal. And if you do use this, let me know in the comment section below how you used it in your classroom so we can grow and share together. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and definitely like and share this video if you found it useful. And as always, thanks for watching.